Hello and welcome back artists and designers. Today we are talking about using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. So I do have a Wacom tablet here that I'm working with and a lot of people want to jump in and use the brush tool, which is a great tool. We'll talk about that one in another video, but I want to click and hold on the shaper tool, which I rarely ever use. And if I click and hold here, I'm going to see the pencil tool right here. The quick key is N for, I guess, think pencil right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as I start to draw with the pencil tool, if I draw like a nice kind of curvy line here or something like that, you can see it makes that line. And even though I had a fill selected, it got rid of it. It's going to default to a stroke uh, for the pencil tool. And you'll notice that this stays selected. And if I come close to this line right now with the pencil and I start kind of drawing again close to that line, you're going to see that it readjusts the line. And we're going to talk about that in a second. So some people like that. If you're trying to do something specific, um, that can be a helpful feature to correct a line. That's not something that I particularly use all the time on this. So let's talk about making a couple adjustments here. I'm going to go to the pencil tool and I'm going to double click. So click, click, and you're going to see this menu option pull up here uh, and give you some different options. So the first thing is the fidelity. The fidelity is going to make your hand more accurate uh, to exactly every movement or correct that a little bit. So we have that one right here and here's the keep selected. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that for a second and let's bring the fidelity all the way down to accurate and let's hit okay. And let's jump back in here and let's delete this one and let's try something new. So if I draw a really unsteady wavy line like that, you will notice if I select this, look at all the anchor points that are involved here. That is a very um, unsteady line and it is recorded every move. So let's go ahead and try, double click again, and let's bring this all the way up to smooth. I'll go ahead and keep this selected for a second. Let's try this one. And now if I draw that same like unsteady wavy line, Look at how much more smooth the computer really corrects a lot of that hand motion and really smooths it out. So you have the option in there to go back and adjust this where you want it. I tend to like it somewhere in here, depending on what it is that I'm actually doing. Uh, I do usually check fill new pencil strokes as well. And I do like to choose the alt key with the smooth tool. That is something that is helpful to me. Again, this one is kind of up to you whether you keep it checked or not. It just means that if you are within four pixels of that line that you already drew or whatever you set this to be, uh, it's going to add on to that line or adjust the line that is currently selected. So I'll leave that on for right now and we'll go from there. All right, let's try a couple more quick things with this. So I'll just draw another curve. You can kind of see I get that nice wavy line and that works pretty well. Of course, I can increase the stroke, decrease the stroke as I want, and I can also make fills. So if I switch this over to a fill right now, you can see it does that. That's not really what I want on this, but let's make a new mark here and let's go ahead and make like a leaf shape. So I'll go ahead and draw this kind of up and come down and maybe leaf for a feather. Um, and then you'll notice that circle kind of shows up. It's showing you that it's closing that shape. And it's try to correct my hand motion a little bit. Now that's a fill or a stroke, but I can switch over to fill and I can do that. So very easily, I can do another one. I could pick a different color, for example. Let's do uh, green or blue, since we're doing a blue here, or a, a maybe it looks more like a feather than a leaf. So let's try this again. So if I draw that and again, it's gonna correct my hand motion a little bit. And let's go up and close that. And there we go, you got that nice little shape that you have uh, on here. Now I can hold that Alt key down and that's gonna bring up this menu here and I can adjust and that will kind of correct some of the um, angles on that. So you can use that smoothing feature if you wanna give that a try. Like I could even go back up, select this line, pencil tool, and if I hold that Alt key, again, this is going to pop up and that's going to allow me to correct that line. So that is the option uh, to hold that Alt key down or Option key Whoops. when you, let's click off of it for a second, when you double click on here. So if you have the 
uh, alt key toggles the smooth tool. You hit that alt key and that's what you get that menu to pop up. So let's experiment with this pencil tool a little bit, get comfortable with it, draw a couple lines, uh, double click, experiment with the fidelity here and just try a few of these different things just to get a little bit comfortable in it. Uh, and the next video, we'll talk a little bit about applying some profiles to our pencil marks to make our project look a little bit cleaner and smoother. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.